following is a presentation of the Horseman Wrestling Association. It is copyrighted for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this telecast or any pictures, descriptions, or accounts of the show without the HWA's consent is prohibited. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to HWA Right in the Teeth. Tonight you'll see Booger Dude try to pick out a win against Redneck Rufus for the television title. You'll also see a grudge tag match with Keys Carranza and Damian Bloodlust taking on Aaron Varhola and Concrete, the first ever one-on-one -on -one TLC match with Roadhouse Roy and Rubber Duck, and much more. It's gonna feel like oral surgery with a rusty Dremel. Don't go anywhere! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the uh, yeah the Brownstein Forum here in uh, a city. That's uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, coming down right now for this first match, this tag team match, uh, mix and match. Lots, lots of those tonight. Uh, three tag team matches, uh, mixing it up a little bit, uh, having some fun with it. Uh, of course, the Chad Segner he's in charge of making the cards now, and uh, he's, he's got some surprises for you all this uh, the rest of the season. Uh, we saw Masato Mayhem perform the slow boat to China on Roadblock Rachel, and she pins for the win uh, for the women's national title right there. Have a look at it. Oh, and it's going to be, it's going to be the slow boat to China, folks. If she nails this, it might be over. Oh, my God, crashing her down. Oh, Rebelock Rachel wasn't expecting this. And down, taking a little time to get in position. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's three. Masato Mayhem is your new champion. That's her, ladies and gentlemen. Masato Mayhem, the, uh, the wonder from... Over, uh, d under, and over, and somewhere. <laughs> well, she's over there somewhere. That didn't rhyme, but fuck it. Who cares? It was, it was descriptive, goddammit. Anyway, coming down right now, her partner for this match is going to be Geisha Genji. They, these two have battled before, uh, but they seem to work well together in, in other conditions, and we're going to see if they can do that tonight. Uh, we saw Geisha Genji in a ladder match. Uh, she had uh, had the ladder pushed from under her uh, and receives a piggyback suplex by PMS. Uh, it wasn't one of the... <laughs> that match didn't have a whole lot of highlights, but uh, we, we did what we could, so uh, uh, we picked out this one. Have a look at it. And now she's going to need a little help here, getting Geisha off. But she does. She got the ladder out with under with uh, Maggie Skookum Chuck. And now dangling, and she got her on the back. It's going to be a fall away bomb, fall away uh, suplex, whatever you want to call it. I don't, I don't know. I'm running out of air, folks, honestly. That's her, ladies and gentlemen. That is Geisha Genji. Scary fucking chick. <laughs> be honest with you. Don't want to meet her in a dark alley. Oh my god, look at that, look at the makeup. <laughs> anyway, coming down right now, her the first of their opponents is gonna be Maggie Skookum Chuck. And uh, we saw her in a ladder match also, that same ladder match as a matter of fact. Uh, she drop kicks BT Goth off the apron, uh, right in the breast. Uh, right, <laughs> turned her, I think I said something about poached eggs or something. I don't know, it's, uh, you'll be able to hear that right now. Have a little, have a little, little, little. try that again. Have a look at it. And now, oh, got this, oh, big drop kick right in the titties of the BT Goth caved them little poached eggs in. They're now concave titties. That's our ladies and gentlemen, Maggie Skookum Chuck, a.k.a., and I'm not saying this, I'm just re re relaying it there for, for you, Maggie. Uh, yeah, uh, sometimes known as bucket ass uh, from some of the, uh, you know what, that's, it, it, it's not the curviest uh, thing in the world, it's not the, uh, it's not uh, bootylicious or anything like that, but that's uh, not a bad ass, I don't think. But coming down right now, here's a chick. Oh, here's an ass. I'd love to go. <laughs> it is Trina Van. Oh, the hips. Mm. Trina Van Der Skank. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little distracted here. Uh, she was uh, she was in the women's championship match at uh, what was it uh, Horseman Mania? Yes. Uh, she gave the Harvard Hurricane the Morning Glory hole, but uh, Chess pulled Rue uh, right out before the count. There. I, you know what? I, uh, that, that should still be under review, honestly. I, I, I think. I mean, Morning Glory hole, hell of a wrestler, but uh, come on, that's just going too far, Chess. Anyway, let's have a look at that. This might do it. This might be taking the belt away. She got her with it. She nailed her now. She's going to go for the pin. That's a, a pin. Good attempt there. He's down. And, uh, uh, what the uh, hell's he uh, doing? Uh, just reaching in and grabbing. And put his hands on the official. He grabbed Kangaroo Jones and pulled her out before he could oh, even Oh, dear Jesus. The there's going to be a fine on it coming on that one. Oh, my God. That's a risky move there. 
That's her, ladies and gentlemen. That is Trina Vanderskank. She ain't got no silver spoon in her mouth anymore. She's she's fighting. She's making her own income here, fighting hard in the HWA. And so here comes the bell. And meeting in the middle, two giants. Yeah, Trina Vanderskank is, is kind of tiny in this. Uh, up against the three, well, not up against three giants, but with three giants. <laughs> I think I said something about it being like a child at a PTA conference. But uh, right now, backed into the corner there. By my, uh, <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm, I'm having a lot of that tonight. The, the tongue just ain't, just ain't working. Uh, Maggie. Maggie's good. Oh, here comes Maggie with it. Bulldog! Oh, nails, uh, nails Masato with it. It's not so much that my tongue's tripping over my teeth or anything like that. I just can't remember names anymore. It's pretty, it's a sad situation, folks. I'm trying to make light of it, but uh, regardless, <laughs> I'll, I'll get a, I'll get a good vacation come up after Halloween. Hello, blue should be uh, uh, give me a chance to put my get, set my brain right right now. Just like what is she doing? What is Masato doing? She's like performing a hex uh, hex ritual on Maggie, and now both now both out. And Maggie, the big says, get the fuck back in there. <laughs> you don't come out after me. I'll come in after you. And a big kick to the face. And now, oh, grabbing the hair and slamming the head on down of Maggie's. And now they're going to pick her back up. Do you want her down? Do you want her up? Make your mind. And now, an old big chop. The chop to the throat there. Look, they got a clothesline. And she goes rolling and tumbling over. And she landed hard on that one. Yes, I said hard on. And now, all oh, Misato up on the top rope. That's that's never a good sign. Here she comes, and she oh, she jumps over top of her. Oh my God, she gonna shatter her, her tailbone right there with that miss. Oh my God, and now picked back up. But now no, no worse for the wear with a chop to chop to the chest, the collarbones, uh, and the side of the face or somewhere. It's just a big hand. It, it, it hits everything, folks. And now oh goes goes for a, a double axe handle, but no Maggie rolling out of the way. And that was a that was I don't know what that was. <laughs> it was a it was an attempted clothesline, and she, and she kind of fell. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway, back to what the fisticuffs here. Boing, 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 punch, kick, and grabbing now, grabbing the head. Another round, that's going to be a brain buster. Oh, right on that shoulder. Having a, Maggie's having problems. I might want to get in there and let the, get a little Trina in there to, to have a tag. But now punch, more punches on the outside. This is somewhere we spent more time outside the ring than uh, all of our uh, false count anywhere matches combined, okay? <laughs> just the game. <laughs> it's it's old. It's uh, it's showing its age right there. You got a uh, an impaler right there in the in the kidneys coming down on those on those knees. And now we got a tag made. A tag is made. And it comes Trina, a <laughs> little Trina, <laughs> dear Lord. And now uh, grabbing her. That's gonna be oh wow, a, a big old swinging leg suplex. And now oh that's for a punch, but a block here by Trina. And now Trina punching away. Trina now Trina now with a clothesline taking Masato down. The big girl. <laughs> she's reaching for a tag. I think it's a little far away, but now a leg sweep. So she's, she's okay. She's not ready for a tag. And now kicking away. So uh, the, the smart money is with, is with the tags. But like I say, these are these are mixed up uh, stables here. More <laughs> It's gonna be a lot of tonight. So uh, <laughs> my tongue gets exercised. Yeah, I know. All you girls are like getting wet from that. Just thinking about. <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. All right, anyway, <laughs> grabbing the hair uh, with a, with a uh, neck snap, the snapmare, I think, or something like that. And now going <laughs> so I'm having a rough night, folks. And now going in, but, uh, she tried to lock her in, but no, the, the leg strike of Trina will, will kick her right out of that. Now, oh, going up, man, grabbing, grabbing uh, Trina, stick, send her to the corner. And then comes, oh, big flying, it was a flying knee, I think, that nailed her. And now she's crawling. She's looking for, t maybe looking for a tag. So far, Masato has not tagged. Geisha Genji's getting bored over there. Like, do I need to be here for this? Now into the corner again. And shoving her, shoving her back. Uh oh, going up. Uh oh, we've seen some high flying stuff here. What's, uh, what's this going to be? Puts her legs over. This could be the uh, the slow boat to China. It might be over before it started, folks. Getting her up, and she's there. It's going to be, say it, Timber. <laughs> God, bouncing it down, down. And now a pin. That might be it. There's one. There's two. Oh, shoulder up by Trina. Trina hanging tough there uh, amongst the, the large women. <laughs> super large, uh, super size. And now grabbing that head. Oh, bouncing on. She got completely off her feet right there with that. She's just gonna, she was flying up. Legs akimbo. And now coming in, finally a tag for Geisha Genji. And now a tag is made. And we got two fresh women in here because they use. Well, <laughs> that's That joke is old. I'm not even going to go there. You know what it's going to say. It's something about Summer's Eve or Massacre or something. Now, now a big clothesline there on Geisha Genji. Now Geisha getting picked up. And teetering, teetering here, but no, faking her out and sending, sending uh, Maggie over the ropes. And now, ah, oh, big drop kick right there right through the ropes. <laughs> What's Trina doing down there? Uh oh, going up. Geisha going up now. 
What's this going to be? She's talking to somebody in the crowd. You might want to look, look at the wrestler you're going after. And now here she comes. Oh, big flying. Oh, flying fist, but kind of knocked right out of the air. I think she took a little bit too much time there. And now chopping away. And, you know, kind of just bouncing off at each other. Slam dance. And now with, the, with I don't know, just kind of... There's a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of hand motions here, but not a whole lot of contact. Oh, that was a good one. That grabbed her head and pulled it down like in a, in a brain buster formation. Finally, Trina's on her feet. She's like uh, fixing, her, fixing her outfit. Oh, Trina coming in. It's a double team on Daisha. <laughs> now, Trina's just working her. <laughs> she says, I may be a little bit fuck you. A little bit can't, a little bit can't start some shit. And now, it's a big spine buster. The referee's just letting it go. So let the girls play. He's loving it. <laughs> He's trying to get a visual, a visual uh, video of that so he can he can use that later. But uh, right now, just been big Ma Maggie kicking away on, on Geisha, not letting her back up. And now goes for a clothesline, but she's able to slip quickly and uh, deftly out of the way. And now there's, there's a kick that he can get out of the way. Right in the gut. And now double drop kicks to the knees, taking her down. You don't really see a lot over here. Why don't you guys get back in the ring so I can announce the shit. And now back up again. And uh, shoves her into the ring. Maggie now coming up on top rope. Uh, on, not on top rope, but through the ropes. And now snow stomping away in the hip. Big hip stomp by Maggie. I'm just kind of, oh, now she's in the, now she's in the stance. Now she knows what she wants to do. What's this going to be? She's got her up. Oh, no, no, no. She, she, she slipped out of it. Uh, double, double time there uh, by Geisha to get out of that. And now, oh, no, she's going to be in trouble now in, in the back corner. And now, <laughs> I guess my mouth is drying out. And just stares at her. She's playing that mind game. She does that sometimes. And now, oh, she was waiting for her. She's got the, the, the uh, gripping, uh, gripping slam there. But the, the Geisha grip, whatever you call it, grip slam. That's right, pin. And there's one. Oh no, uh, Trina comes in just in time. And now T Trina's getting grabbed, but getting elbowed in the, in the head. Now another another move by Masato Man with a whirling bird suplex. And both of the uh, uh, the uh, blonde girls are down. And now stomping away. They're both blonde. Yeah. We got, what do you got? Dishwater. You got the. Uh, what's the? I don't. I don't know. Not a hair hairstylist. Thank God. Uh, so I wouldn't know the colors exactly. But now going in the corner is uh, Geisha. Geisha grabbing, they're spinning the round, which she got. To, oh my God! Just tripping her right there. So the face land right in the turnbuckle. That may be a pat on that, but those things are still rough when you banging and slamming your head off them. And now what's this going to be? Grabbing her, trying to twist her around, that twisting the night away. She just drops the down. I don't even know what that was. That was some sort of disco ball thing. Uh, nightclubs. Uh, I guess I was out of the nightclubs earlier. And now a pin, but no, that's not going to. What the hell? Uh, I think. Uh, yeah, he's. Uh, Rue says you're too close to the ropes. So uh, good call by Rue. He doesn't call that very often, by the way. And now big punches. Big punch by uh, Maggie. And Maggie now grabbing. And Geisha, Nate Geisha now in the bad corner. It's going to be a double. No, no double team move. Just a big old kick throw there by uh, Maggie on Geisha. And now Geisha, if she's going to. Oh, she almost got the tag there, but it's her, her, her calf muscle gets stomped on. And more calf stomping. But <laughs> calf stomping. <laughs> That's a sport out in, uh, in Wisconsin, I think. And now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I think it's cruel, personally. But uh, right there, big kick to the face and spinning back, uh, back on her feet. And now, what is this? Oh, it's a hay baler. She nailed her with it. Flying away. And now, oh, and a stance again. You might be following that up with the, uh, I'm not sure what the other thing is. The, uh, the log jammer. That's what she usually does. And, yeah, she got her. She got her. Down, down the head goes. And that log jammer. And she's going to go for a pin. She does go for a pin. But in comes Masato. This isn't going to take long. And it just before they can get another count. And here, come, <laughs> here comes Trina Vanderskank to try to give uh, Masato some shit. But uh, she got out quickly. Ow. <laughs> get pasty mouth. <laughs> Somebody give me a water, will you, please? And now going into the corner again. Maybe a double team move here. And there's a tag. What's this going to be? Oh, a, a, a standard move for HWA. It's a simple one, but it's the tripping elbow. And the elbow. <laughs> got the elbow right in the ass. I reckon he has some tote. <laughs> and now coming in, Masato. And now Masato with a flying fist takes Trina down. But she's back up again in the drop kick. Puts Trina down again. She steps right back up again. Another one. And I don't think she's getting up after that. That's just a terrible pounding there by Masato. Now picked up again and kind of wobbly. Wobbly, go, wobbly goes into the corner. <laughs> we, got, we got Geisha outside taking a nap. <laughs> so now getting, getting picked up. Uh oh, this could be uh, another, another slow boat to China. Might do it. I don't know. She's got her. She's in position. I, I, she's down, folks. It's going. Here goes Timber. <laughs> Crashing on down once again. Bouncing across the ring. And finally a pin. And he's down. There's one. There's two. Go! Oh, I don't know, folks. I, I thought that hand was coming down. I, that was a that was kind of a three count to me. I know the, the, these matches don't mean a whole lot because it's uh, just for fun, uh, mixing and matching. But uh, regardless, uh, Rue 
Rue kind of just let that one happen before. I don't know. The down knee, you know, the, of course, the knee in the back, grinding that away with that. that uh, I don't even know what that is. The the, the puncture, the, the the spine puncture. Sure, that looks good. We'll use that. And now a flying fish by Masato puts the trino on down. And now uh, she's just celebrating, just showing off right here. That's not too smart. We've seen that backfire, but uh, Trina, <laughs> Trina's still down. Okay, it didn't backfire that time. <laughs> it was, uh, she wasn't she wasn't in any, any hurry to get back up. But now going on the turnbuckles again. That set her up again. Oh, another one. Oh, another slow boat to China. And this, no, oh, she's not going to let it happen. Kicks Masato away. And comes around with a sneaky move. And a pancake. And right down there, flapjacks her face on down to the mat. And picks her up again. He wants a little more. And Masato's wobbly now. And now here comes. Oh, here comes the Harvard Hurricane. She's got her head right down to the mat. Ah. Uh, Trina, and now Trina got to move her right. She's got to move her away from the ropes. She knows that uh, Rue's looking for that now, at least this match. And there's a pin. There's one. There's two. And <laughs> Keisha taking a good old time to break that up. She she wanted the she dramatic effect, I think, she would have did that. And now going to the corner, but that Trina taking up both of them. And now Geisha come, coming out. And Geisha just wisely just uh, moves, just go back go back to her corner there. Doesn't want to antagonize the ref any. And now with, <laughs> she just got tagged in, and she's showing off. All right. Why don't you try doing a move, and then you could show off their bucket ass. And now, oh, I didn't say that. I didn't say it. Mute that kid. Can we dub that out? Uh, just something like that. Just erase over before we uh, before this thing goes public. Oh, that's right. We're live. Oh fuck. All right. Now I'm stopping on the back. Yeah, once it's on the internet, it's on there forever. I know. And now uh, Masato, Masato picking it up. And a big clothesline on Bowden, uh, the Maggie. Another clothesline and a big old leg clothesline right there to finish things off. And she's down. But uh, no, nope. Masato's not done yet. Picks her up. And we're going. Spin of the round. We're going to go to this corner over here. Let's hop at this corner right here. That was a, some uh, <laughs> a car salesman back in the 70s, I think. Uh, I forget what his name was. They said, yeah, yeah, you were like Crazy Eddie. I think that might have been it. But uh, up on the turnbuckle. And she's having, she, she, she's a little wobbly there. Oh, goes for a drop kick, but just kind of just out of range, I think. And now there's a side kick that was right on the money. <coughs> Sorry. Now another hay baler coming up, and she goes flying on down. Yeah, now okay, now you can show off, but you might want to try a pin first. All right, Maggie, not to Maggie, these are rookie mistakes by Maggie. I mean, she's still young in, in the HWA, but uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta focus. You gotta try to you know concentrate on your opponent, not tr concentrate on on making the meters jump and then the uh, and the sound booth from the audience. And now a big old leg throw, leg kick throw over there on Masato, and staring, and she's looking down, and she's teetering back and forth. Real exciting, Maggie. Come on, Maggie. Do something, Maggie. Oh, dear Lord almighty. <laughs> Not too in touch. She just gets punched in the face. What the fuck is going on with some of these wrestlers? They just can we get an IQ test there? If the, if it's not if it's not over their shoe size, that be, we might want to think about getting some new ones there. Well, we are getting new ones actually. Uh, some new wrestlers uh, there's been talk about uh, for coming in for I believe the Admiral is looking for some new talent. But uh, right now, nope. Oh, gonna take go oh, take Maggie over the shoulders. What's this gonna be? Gonna be ah, oh, that's a big old. That's a giant flapjack in right there in the face. And uh, but she's not even aware that her partner's trying to tag in. It stomped away. And now grabbing, dragging on her face. <laughs> gonna, gonna have white paint on her face from the mat. And now kicking, knocking her over. And Masato. Masato now. Wow, with a, with a neck breaker right there. That stares down. Let's see, see that, oh, so, but no, getting kicked away. That was, that's a good attempt. She didn't stand there for, for 15 seconds. Not doing anything, but uh, regardless, she got kicked in the face. And now Maggie. Maggie trying to work her. And now but it's gonna be the elbow. She's gonna snap that elbow on Maggie. And... Masato, Masato nudges it point blank right into the turnbuckles. Grabbing her. Into the corner again. She could be setting her up. And no, she tries to set her up, but no, Maggie's, Maggie's much the wiser. Uh, getting out of the way. And now we're going to go over go the other turnbuckle to show this audience some action over here. And I'm just grabbing the leg and pulled it out from under, but no, kicking away. All right, not this, this not, not a whole lot going on here, folks. I gotta, I gotta admit that this is probably not the uh, most exciting way to start out the. the oh, that's a, that's a, that's the way to do it there. <laughs> I like that shit. <laughs> Kicking around down. Where'd, where'd she go? She disappeared. She's under the mat. No, nope. Geisha, Geisha's gonna be on down. A Geisha, oh Geisha, look at this. Geisha getting a DDT on her. It just as bad, just as uh, uh, Misato gets back up. So there, oh, there's all kinds of cheating going on here, and the ref's just letting it happen. Which is okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> it's more entertaining that way. Much more entertaining than standing there for 15 seconds. I'm going to keep going with that. There's your 15 seconds of fame, right? <laughs> 15 seconds of fucking standing there is what it is. And now a tag is made, and finally we're going to see some Trina action here. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it didn't work. <laughs> Punching her in the face. And now bitch slapping her. And she's right back up. 
And she goes for a kick, but no, grabs the leg, and it's going to be a judo leg sweep and flipping her over. Now, what's this going to be? Oh, it's going to be a, a kind of a leg-breaking uh, camel clutch there. But no, she's not letting it happen. Gets, uh, gets those hands under and spins her around in a nice, nice little flip to get out of that. Kind of, kind of fixing her hairband, too. And now just a just a charge right there, a spear. And uh, Sato going in. Now we got the, it's going to be, uh, whatever her name is. Big of the big trip. Uh, Geisha Genji, that's right. I keep wanting to think her name begins with an M, too. We got like 800 wrestlers in here. All, all their names begin with M. <laughs> so, with that, yes, uh, Misty, Misty's Furburger. Yes, that's right. It's, it's, you know what? They, they're good. They're, like I say, they're good, but they give the shits or something horrible. Now, like, just, uh, just, <laughs> just she's showing off, getting the drop kick. Come on, these women gotta stop showing off so damn much. And now, oh, big, oh, God, that was just a boot to the head. <laughs> Nothing subtle about that, just thirk. <laughs> and now, oh, God, ah, big old nothing. Great, back, brain busting, neck pull, whatever the hell you call it. <laughs> she almost, almost ripped her head out of her spine. Now, dragging her across. Does she go for a pin? She does go for a pin. And down. There's one. There's two. And Maggie finally breaking it up after two. Staring at it for another time. She just tends to stare at things, you know, like uh, shiny objects and, and stuff like that. But now but it's, it's got Geisha going out, and uh, Trina's going right out after her. I'll go, oh, go for a slide, baseball slide trip on Geisha. Taking her off her feet. Keep the, get, well, you, you want her down. You don't pick her back up. What the hell's wrong with you? And now kick to the shins. That hurts, I can tell you that. <laughs> a lot of women have kicked me in the shins. <laughs> With those little tiny feet, the, those, those high heels, those pumps, they're just, ah, oh, busting bust her head on the apron. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like getting shot in, a, shot in the shin with an arrow with some of those high heels that they wear. And now, okay, enough, enough talking about that. <laughs> enough sexual assault cases there. I never did that, I know. <laughs> sexual misconduct was the only thing. And now, look at this move. Wow, it's just some kind of leg break, figure four in the air, but no, that does not give up. That was an awesome move. That was like something out of Joe Petito's book. So uh, very impressive there by Trina Vanderskeek. And now Trina, Trina rolling her over. And uh, there's going to be a pin, but here comes Masato. There's one. Oh, God, she comes crunching down. And, and oh, it's going to be, oh, baseball slide. <laughs> and, <laughs> I think I think uh, Maggie's confused because she just disappeared. She didn't realize Trina was taking her down. And now bunch, bunch, punch, 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 and slamming a punch, trying to get that, that head to bleed, which it doesn't do in this game. Here. Able to make them bleed. Can we, uh, the AEW game? Because uh, well, while we're talking about, uh oh, Trina's going under for a chair. What's this going to be? Uh oh, she flipped over. She doesn't know it's coming. Oh, she's spanking her. She's spanking her with that chair. And another shot to the ass. But no, she rolls out. And now it's going to be a tug of war. And that chair goes right into the mush, Daffy, of uh, Trina. And now a big forearm coming back from behind. And now uh, the, the, it's, it's the Geisha grip slam. Here it comes. Oh, almost on the chair. You got it out of the way, but slammed her down hard. And now going for a pin. Maggie. Maggie's standing. There's one. There's two. There's three! There's three! Masato Mayhem with the pin. Or, sorry, Geisha Genji with the pin. And we're going to see it. I'll have another look at it. Uh, can we show some of those uh, moves where she just stands there and does nothing? Just like she did while her partner was getting pinned. Didn't go in. Didn't do anything. She's, uh, you know what? If, <laughs> she's on Aaron's team, right? Okay, fine. I, I can talk bad about her then. Uh, it's uh, the whole rivalry thing. But, uh, yeah, she, she's fucking wor <laughs> she's worthless as tits on a mule. Right there, you see that, that nice uh, brain buster. And, of course, the Harvard Hurricane, which is always beautiful. When they show it in full, or they show a fucking pin, or... You know what? I'm pissed. I'm so pissed off at this shit. New game needed. Apology to fans. 2K22 in March. Do it right. There's the, There they are. There's your winner. Now, you know what? I just... Uh, th th this kind of shit puts me in a fucking bad mood. All right? I'll continue. I will continue. Because, oh, I really got to continue because I want to see this match. Uh, it's going to be Aaron Varhola and Concrete versus Keys and Damian Bloodlust. This could put me in a good mood. It could. Uh, this is the Animal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more HWA action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Brown Stains Forum in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, coming down right now. I don't like the place. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Just don't like being here, okay? I don't like, the, don't like the city. I don't like the people. But yeah, I, I know I'm, I know they're hearing me. But the, you know what? The, they're not going to want me back after this anyway because uh, we're going to be having our way. We're going to be going back to Pittsburgh. That's, that's where we go. Pick, pick, pick Spark, Pennsylvania, where there's uh, fans uh, to, to beat the band. Coming down right now, though, there's somebody coming to us for 20 minutes. I have been calling it. It's Aaron Varhola, and we saw Aaron on the manager's title submission match. He breaks out the uh, modified figure. He break out of the modified figure four, I should say, by Joe Patino. Uh, still unable to get the win. A valiant effort, but fuck it. Here, have a look. Or something. He just went flying backwards, folks. And now this move again. 
Another move. Trying to work the leg there. And Aaron, Aaron flailing about it. He's going to submit. I don't know if he'll do it. Joe, Joe holding it. This could be it, folks. Hang in there. He's going to uh, go, go. finally just grab the head and pop him right in that open wound again. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is Aaron Varhola, who uh, the, the ball grabbing was really too much. A, a submission move or not, just having your, having your balls bounced up, like sh shooting a pinball up the, up the chute and having it just punched in the dick and stuff like that. And Joe, it was a tough son of a bitch. You got you to gotta get him before he does anything. But coming down right now, the partner of Aaron Varhola and the, and the wrestler of Aaron Varhola, it is Concrete, uh, who returned here not so long ago. And we saw Concrete in a grudge match. This was uh, between him and Sabu. He performed the cement mixer on Sabu. Was, but was only able to get a two count from what is uh, usually a very effective move. Uh, have a look. It was very close. Have a look at it. Jazz, it's so, oh many, God so, many, so many chairs. Oh, right, don't throw the chair right where no. he is. All right, there. It's going to be the cement mixer. He got him. Go! Oh, Nanza, don't, don't leave the legs caught the chair, but still, that's a power oh, move. Yeah, I think he kind of missed There's it. There's one. Look out. There's two. And no, the shoulder comes up. He's not ready oh. to be pinned just yet. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is concrete. He is, uh, he's, he's just, his head's filled with uh, rocks, and uh, at least you'd think so. You know, that, that could have delivered that better. <laughs> I'm, I'm fading out here. I was, I, it's that song. I was just recorded it in the recording studio with that song. It's been like 800 takes, and it still sounded like shit. But, uh, oh, the, the song. It's, uh, here comes Keys Carranza here. Let me do this real quick. Uh, Keys, we saw him in the Manager's Championship, of course. He performed the Baphomet Bomb on Aaron, but was only able to get a two count before he kicked out. Have a look at it. Okay, he's walking. Is he going to grab the chair? No, he's not sure what, what he wants to do. Give no. a baphomet bomb right on that chair. He's got, oh, he's got it. If he spins around, no, he's going to be in the in the turnbuckle there. Oh, he's going to do the xylophone. Oh, bing, 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 right down the line. This and could be it. It could be quick it. Quick pin. There's one. There's two. He's slapping his, <laughs> you woke oh. him up with a slap his foot there, ref. Yeah, slapping his ass. <laughs> Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is Keys Carranza. And uh, what I was talking about, uh, being in the recording studio, uh, is something you, you will be able to hear on uh, the next podcast. It will be at, of course, uh, anchor.fm slash HWA rules. And uh, they've got a treat for you. It's, uh, it's, it's a parody of sorts. Uh, maybe a tribute. No, it's just insulting, really. <laughs> it's a song. It's uh, from Benny and the Jets, the old, the old uh, Elton John song. It's now Boo Foo and the Gimp. So uh, join us on the podcast. You'll be able to hear that in, at the end. I think it just made everybody not want to listen to it. But still come and listen to us anyway. You can turn it off after after the song starts. But coming down right now, he is the demon uh, incarnate here, vampire, whatever you want to call him. He's hot for blood. It is Damien Bloodlust. And uh, we saw him uh, not too long ago in the first blood match. The first blood match between him and Snowman. Who did you think was going to win? Really? Uh, it was. Uh, he he, pound, he pounced Snowman with blatant fists and uh, draws blood from that from his head for that victory. Uh, that, that was a hell of a match. You got to go back and see that if you haven't. But uh, right now you'll see a tiny bit of it. Uh, here, here, watch this. But now he's going down. Oh, it's going to be the punches that punch. One, two, three, four. Ah, there's blood. And he's still punching him. He's still even even if he's starting to bleed. And he's still punching away. And Damian Bloodlust has won. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. Damian Bloodlust with a very long entrance. Of course, we cut it short so you don't have to see it. But, uh... Regardless, he's he's a he's a fighter, he's a battler. Uh, as you saw from that match, he's just a big tough motherfucker. And now we're getting ready. It's going to be the manager starting things off. Aaron versus Keys, uh, just as it was in the uh, in the championship match. And Keys coming out of the gate smoking, big clothesline on Aaron, and now stomping away, stomping the arm, mm. and oh, the back of the arm. <laughs> he's going to break those arms up so he can't do anything with them. Especially those. Uh, what, what does he do? That uh, one move. Uh, both of his moves are feet are feet oriented. Oh no no, he's, he's got the, the pain bow. So if uh, you hurt his arms, maybe you won't not be able to lift you up. But now grabbing, oh picking him up. They go wow, oh, big drop on the knee there uh, on the side by uh, of Aaron by Keys, and now kick to the back. My, my voice is getting a little gravelly right now. We definitely have to take a, a, a drink break after this. And now big punch to the shoulders as, as, he, as he adjusts his shorts. Just out oh, Aaron taking advantage of that. <laughs> And now picked up, uh, and a big hanging suplex there on Keys, and Keys getting dropped on down. Mm. Uh, we do want to mention that uh, we've got the, the Damian Bloodless. He is the front runner for the next world championship against uh, who is it? Uh, against uh, someone. I'm trying to think of the name. God damn it! It's uh... <laughs> oh, Gluteus Maximus, of course, the big ass. Oh, there was a tag made and a double double elbow right there on Keys. Keys crawling for a crawling for, crawling for some help, but no concrete. 
Uh, oh, another thing to mention, Concrete was one of Keys' wrestlers, so uh, there, might, there might be some uh, some things going on in Concrete's head. <laughs> Maybe it's just uh, you, you you left us, you, 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 you traded me. Or no, 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 no. Concrete, Concrete went away. It was Concrete's idea. So maybe Keys is a little pissed at him. I don't know. But there's the tag made. Keys is out. Damien's in. And now Damien just kicking away at that concrete. And now coming off the ropes. And now, oh, driving that face right into the knees. And a quick pin here. There's Wild. Not even going to get a one count out of it. Barely got the half. And now Kick and Concrete's back up. Now Concrete coming in with the high knee. Uh, the high knee. Sorry. I'm going to say it too fast. And now popping the head. That pop, 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 pop. Snapping, snapping the neck. You get brittle bones uh, you know, on a constant diet of blood. You don't get a whole lot of calcium in there. And now <laughs> with a stomp to the chest. And another stomp a little bit lower. A little bit lower. Come on. Get concrete. Keep it above the belt, will you? And now <laughs> big flying elbow. Good Lord. That was dramatic. <laughs> down. And another one coming out. <laughs> down. <laughs> having fun with that. <laughs> now get picked up. Damien getting picked up. But now a big backdrop for, for, for his trouble. Now is he going to get a chance to tag? No, he could just get popped into the corner. And Damien... It's going to be uh, pinning them. Now we're going to go back to the other corner and slamming off the, the turnbuckle. And now tag is made. It's going to be a double team effort here. That's uh, key as he just goes over. And now, oh, it's going to be, look at this. Oh, what's going on here? I don't know what's going on. Oh, God. That was flipped him as I were teaking him right there with that move. Awesome tag move by Keys. And now Keys showing up, but now he doesn't know this guy. Concrete got the tag. And now Keys going to have to deal with Aaron. Oh, now Aaron's going out. What's Aaron doing? It's <laughs> He got punched in there. It just goes whomp right on down like a dead bird falling out of the sky. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, now he's getting punched. Away. He's more fisticuffs. When these two go outside, there's going to be stairs. Oh, God, he banged his head up the stairs. Key's head cannot avoid stairs and barricades whenever he's one-on-one -on -one with Aaron on the outside. It's, it's a known fact. And now Aaron comes out. He's going to take him over to the stairs again. <laughs> right off. Oh, God, Key's his head. <laughs> Poor Keys' head. It's, it's been through so much in some of these matches. It's just a, the, the, the brain is nothing but a big bruise and now a big chop. Sending them on back and punching them back in the shoulders. I picked up again. Aaron. Aaron taking him over to the uh, the barricade. And now just kind of drops, sets him on top and drops him down. But I don't know, that, that looked like it wasn't very painful. <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of move that was. But Aaron now. Aaron punching away and more throwing haymakers there at Keys. As Keys teeters and totters. Teeters and totters. And now going, oh, he trips over the seam in the mat. Yes, that's dumb. And now we got Damien going down. Damien, <laughs> Damien a little off target there. Oh, Damien now hitting Aaron. He says, you're going to mess with my man. I'm going to mess with your face. As he does a, uh, a face buster right there on the floor. And Keys, Keys is still trying to trying to find his bearings after getting his head racked off the stairs. Twice, I think. And now oh, finally snaps to and he got a punch to the kidneys. And working the arm now. Working the arm over. And Aaron pouncing, punching back. Now no more punches by Keys. And now Keys working the arm again. That's going to be oh, another punch to break out of that by Aaron. <clears throat> a lot of back and forth here. These two guys are, it's always a good show when these guys, two guys wrestle. You know it's going to be a show. And now Keys, as he's rolling up, trying to avoid the stomp, and he gets kicked in the in the belly again. And a shot to the back. Now Keys getting taken over by Aaron. Aaron going over to the uh, to the apron. Up Keys goes and, oh, we got a blood, a blood drawing there. Oh, Keys has opened up. Okay, that, that could be trouble because uh, Keys has a, uh, he has an iron deficiency. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Keith has really good iron, as a matter of fact. I remember him and I gave blood together one time, and uh, when you know, they put the drop in the, the blue, whatever the copper, whatever that stuff is. Yeah. So some some women do, that have a deficiency just floats on top. His tank, like he threw a fucking B, a shot of BB into it. Just right at the bottom. And now a big throw right there. Not enough, te enough medical jargon. I know you'd be talking about, oh, he's going back, though. Oh, Keys with a bloody head already. This could make it even worse. This could make it much worse. Here it comes. It's going to be the peacemaker. And oh, God, he just almost took a piece out of his head with that. And now a pin. There's one. And oh, Damien's right in to take care of, help out Keys. And uh, I should mention that uh, <laughs> Damien Bloodlust, uh, I hope he ate before this. Let's just say, because look at the Keys. Oh, here comes another one. Another one to point blank range. And it's up. God, God, he nailed him again. Blood splattering all over Aaron's shoe. And now a pin again. And he goes in to save his, save his partner once again. And now is he, oh, he's going out. Nobody can mess with him. <laughs> it's huge. And now Aaron going over. But Damien's right there. What's this going to be? <laughs> just shoving Aaron right off. And the, Jesus, God, look at that crimson mask. It almost covers his face. It's like Hellboy. What the hell? <laughs> Boy. And now it's stomping away. And more stomping away on the thigh. He's now. He's a bloody mess, but uh, the fire's, fire and heart's going. And now, oh, here it comes. It's going to be the pentagram. He's got him. Maybe get a submission move off of this. 
And he's looking, he's looking to get submit, but no, it doesn't look like he didn't look like he tied it in all that well. And now dropped to the side with a sidewalk slam. Now Keys, he's looking for a tag to Damien. Damien trying to trying to avoid the look here. Oh, the crazy Christ! <laughs> a close line just took out everything. <laughs> the, 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 the referee was nowhere near it, and he still got popped out. Man, the impact. <laughs> Unbelievable. And now showing off. After that, it's, <laughs> Rue's like, where the hell am I? What the hell just happened here? And now a kick, but he's too close. Kind of wraps it around. And a big uh, forearm taking Concrete down. Concrete looking to be in trouble here now in a stance. Oh, boy. What's Damien got? He's, he's got a plethora of moves here he can use. And now picking Concrete back up. And what's this going to be? It's going to be a tombstone. Oh, God. Down, bouncing on that old head of his. And now uh, puts, the, puts the arms over and trying to get the pin. There's one. There's two. No, no, Concrete shaking it out. I thought it, was, thought it was still a little early in the match. Thought he might have a little something left, and he did. And now he's stomped on the face. He doesn't have much left. <laughs> Just took a, look, took a lot of that out of him. But no, it's, he's fakes it out, and now he's able to get a, a side slam there. Keys, Keys just getting back up. He's trying to pick up the pieces, actually, <laughs> to the, the assault that he's took out there. He's bouncing his head off everything. Keys, 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 not, no, Keys not going in. Keys trying to go in. And now just a big just a, well, a walk away drop. And a flip now by Concrete. That acrobatic move. There's one. There's two. And no, Damien's going to get out. He's, he's not even nearly ready. <laughs> and now Concrete. Concrete now. Concrete popping the neck. Pop, 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 pop. And no, he's just trying to grind it in one direction. Right there, but no, he, he's able to pull away and punches, punches to the gut of Concrete. Now Concrete with a kick to the kick to the gut. And what's this going to be? Way up high, he just drops him on that shoulder, right on the knee. And now a pin. There's one. Oh, good. You can only get a, get a one count of that. Uh, that's surprising by Concrete. Aaron, Aaron wasn't going to have any of it. It's like, I'm not coming in there. I'm just not doing it. And that's a big, big splash on the back. A, a forward, a backward splash. A uh, backsplash. <laughs> that's what's in the kitchen. Yeah. All right. No, no, never mind. Let's, let's not talk about that. Now grabbing, grabbing the face. I, I, I love kitchens, but I, just, I, I can't cook with a fuck. And now oh, grabbing. What's up with it? Why are we talking about kitchens? We got wrestling going on here. Shut the fuck up. And now going around oh, with a whirly bird suplex on Damien. <clears throat> Jeez. He's wobbling. You can see he, he's still losing blood. He's <laughs> it, it's still dripping. And now here it comes. Maybe there's a clotting problem. Oh, what's this? Take it across the shoulder. It's going to be oh, it's the cement mixer. And he nailed him. Bouncing the head on down. And now concrete with a pin. That This might be it. There's one. There's two. And no, he's going to kick out still. Still a lot of energy left for, for Damien. Damien. Damien's a, a fighter. He holds on for a long time, as we saw in his previous match. And now just grinding that head. But no, he's, he's getting back up again. Just Concrete does not have the, the forearm strength, I think, to keep that without Damien. Damien's got the leverage. I think that's the big thing for him. And now working the arm. And go, wow, elbow down under the under the back of the arm, trying to uh, tr trigger that funny bone. And now picked up again. There's nothing funny about that. And it's a cartwheel slam roll. <laughs> it's spring roll. No, California roll. Okay, never mind. Isn't that when you like roll through a stop sign? Or is that? No, that's a sushi thing. <laughs> I don't know. Now pin. There's one. There's two. And no, Concrete kicks up. And Aaron, Aaron's trying to, trying to do something. Keys was all over him. Good Lord. The, the blood is spreading everywhere. Can somebody get him a, a, strafe, a stay free to put on his head or something? It's all in his eyes and shit. It's freaky. And now, and another tombstone. They got him down. Oh, that might be it as he puts the arms over. And the ref going for the pin. Now Aaron coming in. And Keys, oh, he is able to break it up. But Keys is right there. And Keys grabs Aaron. And now Aaron's, Aaron's going over. He goes over and rolling, rolling, rolling. And Keys goes, oh, Keys going to continue after him. And no, Damien's going out. Damien, no, so, so Damien got confused. He didn't know he was who he was fighting. It was because like, Concrete's in the ring. Okay, oh, that's the guy I'm supposed to, to wrestle right now. And now Concrete wobbling, very wobbly there. Now going in. Aaron's not going to be any help. But Aaron, I think Aaron just got back up. And Keys is going whoop-de-doo. I'm not exactly sure why. And now going up. There he goes. What is this? What is this? Picks him up. Good Lord, that dead lift right there. And he's, I know he's great. He's like holding the face and the hurting the neck. I've never seen a move like that. He's, he's got so many moves that we haven't seen before. He just he, he really brings something to the HWA, I'll tell you that much. And now Concrete getting picked up and slammed on down by Damien. Now Damien with a pin. Here comes Aaron again. There's one. And Aaron once again breaking up the pin. Go, go get him, Damien. Beat his ass. He's going after him, but now Aaron gets out. <laughs> Once again, Aaron runs away. <laughs> That's right. And now grabbing. Oh, going for a roll of reversal there. Damien goes over. But no, it's going to be a, a little. Oh, a nice uh, throw over suplex there from the outside of the ring. And it will going down. I don't know if he's squatting. I don't know if his hemorrhoids are bothering him, but it looks like his uh, move is coming by Concrete. And Concrete grabs him. And that's just going to be. It's going to be the cement mixer. It's, you better wait, watch out. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. The, the riffle was got folded up, and now a pin. There's one. 
There's two. And now Keyes is able to break it up. And Aaron coming running. It's chaos in the ring here, folks. This is this is insanity. And now picked up and slammed on down by Aaron. And now we got the, the Adrian Adonis move here. What is it? What is that? Keys rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling in one place. Rolling down the road. Got some big fish. Takes Aaron on down. And now concrete. And Keys almost in the way. Comes in with a clothesline. And another one. But he missed the clothesline there. And another clothesline. <laughs> back, back to concrete. This is insanity, folks. This is going wild. And now Keys is going to be in against his, his former wrestler, Concrete. And Keys coming in with a big clothesline. But it's stepping back up. And goes for a drop kick, but misses. I think because of the blood in his eyes, he can't see shit. And now punching away at concrete. He got he nailed him that time. And now his case goes for he just gets tripped up and hanged out hanged it hanged out. Hung out on the and now look at it, look at it, the concrete. They're trying to trying to cut the circulation off to his face, which uh, might be helpful right now because otherwise he's gonna bleed out. <laughs> Not gonna take long now. Got concrete up. Aaron looking down. Aaron could be doing something. Concrete now, big flying elbow to the head, and down he goes. Oh, Keys has crashed, folks. Keys is having problems. Somebody get the crash cart. And Keys is down again, somehow not falling all the way down. I don't know. He's, he, he, this is crazy. I'd be, I'd be like, like in a hosp- at the hospital by now. If I, was, I started the match the same time as him, I'd be in the hospital because they would have they had time to pick me up, take me out, take me down. The Keys is still hanging in there. And Keys just getting his, his cr- crotch rammed off against the, uh, the apron, I think. Now oh, Concrete, once again. Concrete goes, goes, goes over the top and uh, slamming the apron once again. Let, let's tenderize his head a little bit more, Concrete. Come on, you, yeah, show show a little uh, little class here. You, normally a classy wrestler, but uh, uh, yeah, hanging out with Aaron, I'm not surprised. Now Keys, after whipping concrete, goes back in. Jesus, God, look at the blood. I got to, to get an R rating for this show with all that blood. It looks like Freddy Krueger shit. That is, what is that? And now he's grabbing the arm and pulling it down and slamming Keys' shoulder. Keys needs a shoulder replacement, by the way. I hope you know. <laughs> well, personally. But anyway, uh, now k- kicking, kicking concrete away, and Keys snaps back up. <clears throat> Grabbing concrete, picking him up. Concrete teetering a little. This could be something, there, but no. Concrete still digs digs for that uh, that strength and shoves him away. That's one thing concrete doesn't need is his head, really. And now picked up. Here it comes Keys with the Baphomet bomb on his own. His old old wrestler right there. Concrete goes down. Oh my! And now grabbing him. Got to get him away from the ropes there. And you know that uh, Ruse looking for that. And now he's down with a pin. Might be a little late. There's one. There's two. And Aaron busted up again. Aaron, what, what, Aaron now getting punched from behind and getting grabbed by Damien. Damien now says, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it just rolls him down down. And Keys, is Keys still in? Yeah, Keys is still the legal guy. Now stop on, on, on concrete. That's going to put him over here. He's going to try a little, uh, little camel clutch there and grab in the face, grinding the eye. He's got the thumb in the eyes. Uh, that might be a little illegal. But now concrete hanging tough. He's, he's the tough guy. I don't think he's going to get him to submit that easily. And now he's able to pull out of it. He's now. He's going to get punched from behind. How long is this match going on? What is it with these all these long matches tonight? Jesus Christ. And now off the ropes. And that big drop kick taking Keys down. Ugh. Sweating up a storm over here. I need a towel. Somebody towel me off, please. Now get one of the girls. One of the girls. I don't want get, get, get away from me with the towel, you. And now, how was that? That's a, that's a, that's a break dance move. Breaking his head with a foot. Now he's down. Keys. I haven't seen that before. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's three. Concrete is defeated. Yeah, Keys right there. And uh, he wins a, takes a win for his team. Oh, my. That, that's got to be a big disappointment for Keys. Keys was looking forward to this. Right there, you see that, that big kick to the head. Uh, his head his head hung tight right there. And another kick to the head. No, he was bloody by that point after getting the head off the apron. And uh, Keys trying to work that pentagram but was not able to dig it in. And then this is uh, the, the, the uh, fucking tombstone pile driver. And then, of course, the cement mixer. We got a lot of got a lot of good moves here. Let's let's follow them all the way through this time. But now it was in fact uh, sort of a break dance, uh, whatever concrete did with a big kick to the head. Able to pin Keys and he was out. So uh, Keys, I don't know what he's going to have to say about that. We might have to get a word from him uh, another time. Uh, see if you, Keys, if you're listening, of course uh, we'd like to. Uh, if you just even a phone call, uh, leave a voicemail or whatever. That that'd be helpful to to find out what you're thinking here. Just to to, to, to join in uh, with the other people that we have on the radio and all other places. Right there, though, you see your winners for the match: Concrete and. Uh, Aaron, <clears throat> but uh, we're gonna we're gonna cut away. We're gonna come back. Uh, we have the the TLC. But we're only on the second match. Jesus Christ! All right, we're going to the TLC match with Roadhouse Roy and Rubber Duck. Good lord, it's gonna be a long night, folks. Strap in. Uh, this is the Animal Network. Uh, reminding you to always wear a condom. Come back for more HWA action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, Cleveland something, Cleveland Center, uh, brown stains in your shorts or something like that. I don't, I don't know where we are. But uh, right there, we got Rodolph Roy coming down. Uh, that, that greasy spit curl he is. <laughs> I think it's gross. 
<laughs> it looks like your hair has a, has a runny, runny nose. It's just a snot dribble hanging down. <laughs> anyway, we saw Roadhouse Roy in the uh, grudge match. Uh, he was performing the Roadhouse uh, Roundup on Bandit. Uh, but Bandit got the shoulder up. Uh, he was able to, to, to keep going. That, that was a crazy match because that was right before the pay-per-view and the title defense. Oh, man, a tough son of a bitch, I'll tell you that much. But uh, regardless, he gave up the belt later on, but not this time, because uh, we're going to see exactly what happened right now. Oh, going for it. What's this going to be? Big Danny Danny busted the bandit open. Oh, that's going to be trouble. Uh, he's, uh, and he's in a squat. He's in a squat again. Here comes going to be the Roadhouse uh, Roundup. If he gets this on him, it might be over, folks. He's got him in position. He swings him around, and bah, down he goes, and the bandit's in trouble here. The bandit's taking a beating, and another pin here. One, and just stay down. There's two. Oh, and he gets his shoulder up. Why does he lift his shoulder up? That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is Roadhouse Roy. Roy. Roy's, Roy's a picking, and I'm grinning. That was, that was he. Was that Roy? Yeah, Roy Roy was in there. <laughs> now back to Roy. <laughs> so, I haven't seen Hee Haw in like uh, 300 years, but uh, regardless. Uh, the rubber duck's coming down now. The disco duck as he's shaking it. And uh, we got no managers here. Of course, this is a TLC match. Believe it or not, this is a very odd uh, one-on-one TLC match. Should be interesting to see how this develops. Uh, could be quick, could be could be, uh, could be drawn out. We don't know. So uh, right now, the rubber duck. Oh, yeah, we got to talk about the rubber duck. Uh, last man standing match he was in. He performed a skull driver on the gimp, uh, but was unable to get the 10 count. That's the last man standing match. That was the 10 count match. And uh, the, the gimp was able to pull that off against the duck. That was pretty cool. Uh, but the, 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 the he got close. The duck got close. Have a look at it. And now, oh, picked up here. Oh, what's this going to be? It dropped on the spine again. And now another count. Was that two? I thought he was counting both hands. Oh, okay, the two count on the gimp. There's a three count on the gimp. And we got four. Gimp, I, gimp landing hard on that back. I don't know, sometimes it's not a matter of getting knocked out. Sometimes you just don't want to get back up, right? There's a six count. We got seven. Come on, gimp. Shake it out. Walk it off. There's eight. That's him, ladies and gentlemen, the rubber duck. Freak, uh, freakazoid uh, supreme right here in the HWA. <laughs> you can say that about a lot of people. The gimp, yeah, yeah obviously. Obviously the gimp. Oh, uh, right there. That was, uh, yeah, that, that ring smelled. Just, it stunk of latex after that match. All right, there we go. Now we can come in the middle, and uh, Roy, Roy Roy punch away. Again, flipper flap to the face. And another big flipper flap into the old uh, spit curl there. <laughs> Rubber, rubber flippers, spit curls. We just, this is just, it's just wrong. <laughs> it's bad. Oh, uh, rubber duck now getting bounced off the turnbuckles, and Roadhouse Roy stomping away on that bat, on that uh, freshly bruised back, and still working him. Roadhouse Roy has, a, I don't know if he has a thing against the rubber duck. He's, he's uh, pounding away right now. Big elbows to the collarbone, and a big collarbone smash right there. If he keeps the uh, rubber padding under there, it just kind of bounces off. But right there, oh, it's going to be the wrist breaker by, by Roy. And Roy now coming now with a big leg drop. Roy just taking, taking the duck out. <laughs> he, wants to, he wants to beat him up good. And now it's good with the, the, the shockwave going up the wrist. And now another leg drop. Jesus Christ, he's taking the duck to town. <laughs> he stomped in the back. And the CR is going to be loving this. And now we're not working the arm again. And now a big kick to the back. The duck is like, what the hell is going on? Come on, give me a break. And now we're going out. And we're going to have our ladder coming in. Or, or a table or a chair. It could be anything. And now what the, what's the duck laughing at? The duck is laughing at somebody in the front row. Or we laughing at some poor uh, kid, kid from uh, Wait, Make a Wish Foundation. He's a sick bastard like that. Just, <laughs> I don't know. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, right there's a big punch by the duck. And the duck with a flipper right, right to the groin. And here comes Roy. Setting him up oh, for a neck breaker. And slamming on the Got him down. And Roy. We're now having problems get, trying to get back up. And they're rolling. Now uh, the duck. The duck grabbing, <laughs> grabbing Roy. Just kind of, kind of carrying a lot of strength here in the duck. And picked up and that power bomb down. Mixed sitting power bomb by the duck. Now we're gonna we're gonna yes I'll finally go duck going out to get that ladder or or something else I'm not sure or, or you're just gonna go out there and stand I, I don't know why and now he's he's doing the treadmill okay what the fuck is going on here guys come on wrestle and uh, Roy where's Roy going and the duck is still in the treadmill that's got some extra extra lubrication on those on those flippers of his and now we, you know, we got to split they were so far apart they had to split the screen what the hell come on guys it's, there's no other wrestlers on this it's just you guys get 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 in touch with each other in some way or another ah big arm lift there and we're talking by Roy and the duck duck oh de de definitely pressing that that mask into the face uh, they, we, he may want to just expose his face one of these times oh now we got a ladder now we're gonna get things going and Roy shoving the ladder in and goes in follow it the duck behind. Duck, 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 following close behind. And now, before Roy can set it up, just get punched out of his hands. And now the duck going back out. To do what? A treadmill again? <laughs> Roy. 
We're standing up. The duck just standing there. What the fuck is the duck problem? <laughs> He, he's just a, he's, he's unmedicated I think it's really bad you gotta get him get him some pills and stuff, something like that with some therapy now oh here it comes oh no this is what he was waiting for oh you're gonna make that spit girl smell like duck shit and now uh, grind it away with that eat it with the uh, duck is that eat a duck no that's not the eat a duck that's the feather duster he feather dust his, dusted his head and uh, now it smells badly badly it's bad it's bad alright so <laughs> who was that I don't know <laughs> um uh, you're right there. Oh, you're going for a punch, but no. You're going to be able to uh, spin around and slip out of the way. And now a big flying fist by Roy on the duck. Uh, I thought it knocked the duck's hair off for a second there. It looked like he was bald. Well, he is bald, but uh, the, the angle of his head looks like his hair was gone. And now there's that big clothesline by the duck. A full body clothesline. Took him right out. And Desco Duck now standing there, dancing away. Dancing the night away. Now climbing the ladder with those damn flippers. But Roy, Roy's right there. Or he's not having letting the duck get it, get to it, and now he's fisting the duck. Oh my God, folks! You can't show this on television. I'm <laughs> not big fisting of the duck and that big bouncy rubber ass going. Blah, 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 blah. And now another big just kind of slapping the ass there. That's more of the gimps the gimps <laughs> move there. And now another big slap to the thighs, and again you got to catch his balance. And Roy, what's Roy doing? Now Roy grabbing, punching away, and now it's gonna be he's grabbing the duck, and it's gonna be a power off top of the ladder, power bomb. That down duck goes crashing on down. Now Roy's going to take a chance with the, with the, with the uh, case. That's a lot of money in that case. Uh, a whole $176. Uh, again, oh, yeah, that's 25 cents. I know you donated. Yeah, thank you. Uh, but, well, the duck rolling up. And he sees, he sees Roy. Is he going up? No, he's going to try to push the ladder out of him. The strength of the duck. That's a very easy job for him. And now Roy down in this with a fall away uh, suplex right there. Mm. My mouth again. <laughs> Been, I've been out this 45 minutes. We're only three matches in. And now as the duck steps up, sets up the ladder. We got, oh, punching the duck. And grabbing, oh, grabbing the head. It's going to be, a, oh, got a big kick soup like our big kick up DDT right there on the duck. And now Roy. Roy's eyeing up the ladder, eyeing up the case. And he's going to just hold that hand on the thermal lock. And he does. Trying to get a good, trying to get a good grasp on him, but the duck sees him. Is the duck going to pull it out or is he going to climb up? No, the duck's going to climb up. We're going to have some top of the rope ladder action or top of the rope action. La ladder action. And now take it over. Oh, my God, he's taking it over his shoulders. The duck, here he comes. Oh, ah! <laughs> God, it almost went through the mat. Oh, my God. Crashing down on the top of the ladder. Yes, folks, say it along. This is awesome. That was rough. Holy God. <laughs> so There's a feathery head sticking out of the, his legs up in the air just kicking. And now, once again, the case. The duck getting back up, though. I don't know if this is going to do it. How long is it? Uh, hasn't had the hand on that long, but no, the duck coming around. The duck's there, and we're going to go back up again. Oh, my God. Going to just be another one. And now, oh, the duck grabbing now. It's the duck's turn. And now, oh, crash the face. Buster off the top of the ladder. Oh, Jesus. God, these two men. Yes, this is an incredible match, folks. Uh, this, is, this has been a hell of a night, honestly. Uh, right now, climbing. Climbing up again. The duck. Uh, Roy is out. Roy, after that, after that face crack, no, he's finally stirring and getting back up. Now the duck working the, working the case, working the lock. And Roy, what's Roy going to do? Is Roy going to meet him again? Is he, we get another, he might go for another ride here. What's this going to be? Oh, he just grabs the head and slams it on down. And just shoves the duck. The duck goes crashing down. And here comes one more more, more attempt at the case. It's not better. The duck, the duck down. Duck, duck doesn't, doesn't seem interested in getting back up right now, Roy. Roy just working it, trying to get, have his, uh, trying to get the, the warmest part of his hand on that thermal lock on the duck. The duck is down. The duck might be, this might be it, folks. He's got it. It's all him. It's all Roy. Now the duck's starting to show signs of life. He's going to have to hurry if he wants to try to take this case away. Now staring up. All right, no, Roy's got it. Oh, he got it before the duck could even do anything. Oh, my. The so Roadhouse Roy is going to be able to, to buy some uh, Elvis and Elvis tickets or Elvis impersonator tickets or something like I don't know. <laughs> if you buy Elvis tickets, it's, well, I think it's proof, proof positive he's alive, but no, I think he's dead. Uh, right there, he's throwing the course the Feather Guster on Roy as he goes flying out. There's the stench on his on his spit curl. Right there, the DDT uh, on, the, on the duck head that I thought knocked the hair off. And then this. Oh, dear God, watch this. Oh, down. As they just bounce out. You felt the shockwave. And then, of course, the duck got him with this one, that face buster. There, God, these two went at it. Okay, you're talking about the blue and the gold right there. They're, they were fighting blue and gold. <laughs> that was, that was uh, Pit Panthers all the way. But Eric Dodge showing off the case. He won, and that's a good a good uh, a paycheck for him, even though it's not that much. What, $137. And 25 cents. Yes, I remember. Uh, so with that, we're going to cut away. Thanks, guys, for a quick match. <laughs> I need to get another drink. Uh, right there, right there. we're going to move on to oh, another tag team match, another mixed match uh, we're going to have with La Tarantula, Lucy Fur, Mosh Pit Margo, and Miss, Misty Furberger. Uh, this is the Animal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more HWA action. 
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to that uh, Cleveland place uh, here at the Brown State Forum. Uh, coming down right now for this match, another tag team match. We got uh, mixing and matching tonight. Uh, we're going to just go, cause it's a very checkered uh, 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 show. <laughs> Going on right now is someone who's always has a uh, seer's eye. It is La Tarantula. La Tarantula. They like come and we want. Yeah, I'm not going to sing. But you, but you, you heard me sing on the, on the, or you will hear me sing on the podcast. It ain't good, folks. But uh, we got so we saw her in the exhibition match where she stole. I'm going to say she stole the Kotex kill switch from Misty Furberger uh, and got a pin for the win. Have a look at it. It's Tarantula. That's right. Oh, here it goes. What is this? Actually, oh, she has her own move on her. That was the Kotex kill switch. Oh, she pins here. This will be insulting as hell. She's got her. Down for the pin. There's one. There's two. There's three. <laughs> Tarantula beat Misty Furberger with her own move. That's her, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Tarantula. I don't know about that name. I, love, I just love saying that name. It's really cool. Here it comes. Oh, she! Oh, there she is, hot as hotter than hell, folks. That is Lucy Fur, and uh, she's going to be La Tarantula's partner here. See if uh, they can get some wins going uh, for for both of them. Uh, something to take home. Uh, we saw her in the pay-per-view challengers bid, where she performed a middle rope DDT on Trina Vanderskank and was not able to get a pin, uh, so she didn't get the win. But regardless, uh, <laughs> it's just it rhymed. It rhymed. It's, it was, it was, and it was descriptive. God damn it, it was. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and have a look at what she did. Somebody pin somebody. I'll be down here. <laughs> like a nut. And now, oh, I'm grabbing ahead again. What's this going to be? You got her. Oh, spin around, DDT. Jesus, God. The impact of that is incredible. That's her, ladies and gentlemen. I'm enjoying a nice Mountain Dew tonight. Uh, nice and cold from the, uh, from the concession stand there. Complimentary, of course, for the announcers. Better be. <laughs> I ain't paying for that shit. <laughs> oh, coming down right now is a woman we haven't seen in quite some time. We got to go all the way back to show 62. It is Mosh Pit Margo. And uh, we saw her in a submission match where she performed what is uh, only described as a modified pentagram on Maggie Skookumchuk. Uh, she just couldn't get the big girl to submit, uh, and she was not able to win that match. But regardless, have a look at that effort. Uh, but, but that's a good move on his part. And now still the move from Keys with the uh, with the pentagram right here. Might be the you might have to turn that symbol a little ways and they call it the Wiccan the Wiccan wanker or something. Wiccan wanker. <laughs> no, not the Wiccan wanker. Wiccan something or other. We'll call it that. But uh, regardless, smoking little punker chick she is. That is Mosh Pit Margo. I wouldn't mind just a like hearse crowd surfing. My hand right up that crotch. Just, uh, Little fist in the next. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, got a little too much said there. I think uh, coming down right now, the uh, the proprietor of Misty's Fur Burgers, uh, run of course by uh, the Admiral Admiral Deuce. But uh, she's coming down here, and we saw that with uh, with her match in the exhibition match she was in. Was this the same match? Uh, it was the same match. Uh, this was against her and La Tarantula, uh, where she uh, slips out of the way uh, on the top ropes as uh, La Tarantula performed a sit-down move. And, uh, well, she wasn't able to win, but uh, a good heads-up move by, by Misty. Have a look at it. Once again, a little high flying action here, and once you're on her feet, obviously. Waiting for her. Waiting to, waiting to pounce. And she got it. She got, oh, my God, just stepping out of the way. And she tried to grab for her on the turnbuckle, made, made her miss, and laid her right on her, right on her cute little ass. That's her, ladies and gentlemen, Misty Furberger. <laughs> Go to Misty Furberger. She, I still, those jowls get me. That's, that's like a goddamn bulldog. <laughs> now, right now, we got, uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be uh, Mosh Pit Margo and La Tarantula kicking things off. And there's the bell. Now a big punch, uh, big more punches, oh, a lot of punches and kicks. Just going on an old fisticuff right here by La Tarantula starting things off. And now grabbing, grabbing the punker. Punker, I hope this match gets shorter because uh, we're starting to run out of time. I, I pick, oh, comes in for, I thought she took both of them out. No, just took out the uh, mosh pit, with Lucy jumping out of the way. And is she staring down? Grabbing the hand. Oh, what's this going to be? It's going to be, uh, stop stomping on the fingers. Oh, just trying to break her hand so she can't do anything with it. And now look at the pain on her. They're just tw twitching, flapping around there uh, mo by mosh pit. And now Margo up again, up again, now taking across the shoulders of La Tarantula. And what's this going to be? She's got her up. Oh, trying to eat her up. No, she's not going to do it. She's not going to drop her on the outside. My God. Dropped her all the way over the top rope, crashing down on her back. Oh, La Tarantula. She's, she's a rough one. God damn, she knows how to play. And now just kicking Mosh Pit Margo down. And she's getting, got her legs what, in some sort of move. Oh, my God. Some knee-pulling move. Trying to pull her knee out of the socket. And now a kick. 
La Tarantula is just on fire right now. He's talking about Lucy being on fire. Well, she's she's literally on fire, but uh, right now, oh my God, it's so hard. She bounced over three feet, <laughs> and uh, what's what, La Tarantula? I can't see her. <laughs> She's behind. I know I'm looking at it. I don't want to see left right right now. I was looking at that. <laughs> but that now, oh, she's over here now. Okay, I'm over here now, Sydney, and now picking her up back up and punching her to the head. More, more four, forearms just tearing away at Moshpit Margo. And now not more punching away. Moshpit's having a hard time getting things started here. She might want to tag out early and just try to get herself focused again. But now going over to the, oh, the apron and getting her head smashed on down. Now grabbing, picking up. Uh, once again, by the purple mohawk. Oh, uh, just a bitch slap! Oh, good lord! That's that's injury to insult and, and such. <laughs> it's, insult to oh, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. And now I don't know what I mean. And now we're gonna punch into the back. La Tarantula gonna spin around, and then she does. And now taking Mosh Pit Margo into the corner once again. And what's oh, but Mosh Pit gets the foot up and knocks the knocks the La Tarantula away. A oh, big arm throw by La Tarantula, not missing a beat. And. Now we're going back to the corner again. She likes it back there. She wants to keep her in with her partner, keep things nice and tight. And now a tag is made. Oh, what's this going to be? Going to be old, uh, no, taking them both off. And it's going to be, oh, a big double backdrop. And up she goes. Ever getting slammed on that, that hard floor on her back. They're, they're, that's obviously their strategy in this match. And now finally a tag, a diving tag for Misty Furberger. And <laughs> Misty coming in with that big boot. Big boot to the face. And now go clothesline, but, but Lucy ducks out of the way. And Lucy went those high heels. I was poking her eyes out. Good Lord. She can poke my eyes out with those that other, those other things, yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, 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 not the, not the heels. And now I'm going off the head. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And she goes one, and down kick, stomp. <laughs> Another dumb animation, but uh, uh, I won't go into it. Try not to. And I'll go. We're going to the corner again. And uh, oh, coming in with a big flying forearm there, but uh, kind of missed. And Misty jumping out of the way. Amazingly jumping another 17 feet out of the way. Yeah, these kind of uh, people are just like uh, running through wormholes and stuff like that. I don't know. But now after after neck breaker, but no a kick. This kick ain't gonna work. It's gonna work for a nice leg throw by by Lucy. And now Lucy with a kick to the face. Oh, but just glancing kick. And now another that, that landed it. it. Landed it right there. He's squaring a schnoz. And now oh, going oh she goes from flying over again. Misty now down. Misty now gets some, some floor action. Now a big kick to the face by Lucy. Lucy celebrating. We're letting her get back up. You got to get back on top of her, though. And now just, oh, it's easy, easy as you please. Right there, slap the backhand of the face. And now punching, we're punching away. But now the elbow's coming in and trying to knock Lucy away, and she does. Lucy now taking a swing but missing. And everybody <laughs> swings and kicks all over the place. Nobody's hitting shit. <laughs> now a kick finally lands one. And, oh, we're going to be tied up here. Oh, that head butt right between the horns. Oh, she, she was a little higher on that. She might have killed herself. And now going under. Oh, we got a chair. Some chair action here. Ah, oh, the Christ nailed her right in the horns with that. There's two holes in the chair now. Dear God almighty. <laughs> After throwing it back down, Lucy. Lucy's having a problem now. She's really trying to try seeing the stars. Seeing the brimstone, you might say. And now I'm getting rolled back in and taking her, dragging it, dangling, hanging her on that apron and slamming her face down. down. Uh, you know, the drink here. I'll take a drink in a second. I, I'm good. And now this is Lucy's crawl. Lucy's trying to get the tag, and she does. Lots of Rancho coming back in again. Uh, the Luchadora. And now, oh, but an elbow. Double takes her right on down. Takes her downtown. Takes her down to Funky Town. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> That's, a good. That's a good song, too. And now the clothesline takes my, takes her tip right over. And now we see her back pain, a lot of back pain. Uh, I think uh, um, uh, La Tarantula is just uh, using the floor as a weapon, really. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. And now grabbing the hairs now. <laughs> grabbing the short hairs. No, long hairs. And now <laughs> well, that could be long. <laughs> Off the stairs. It could be long down there, too. You never know. <laughs> With a name like Furberger, I think it kind of, kind of gives it away. But <laughs> grabbing the head. And we're going over the apron, and now, oh, just, I thought she was going to slam her off the apron, she just rolls her back on, and now grabbing her, oh, it's going to be an apron shot, and now picks her up and slams her jaw, her jowls right on the, right on the apron, and they go bouncing and flapping like a, like a bulldog, yeah, pretty much, and now we're going for a tag, but nowhere near, and more stomping, where did Lucy go, she's all around, did she go back to the locker room, I don't know, uh, right there, oh, gets thrown her over again, and got about head crash, Bound, bent, the thing. This, what the hell did I just say? I have no idea. But her head, her back landed on the on the apron once again. That's what I was trying to say. I, I had like 18 different sentences in my head. They were all just trying to they're cutting in line and shoving each other aside. There, just a word diarrhea, really. And now we're going to the going to the barricade here. And now she got her. What's this going to be? She's walking away. Oh, she's going to tackle. Oh, that Christ! And she busts through it through to the barricade. We're going to the crowd now. This is a, this is a false count anywhere match, even though they're not going to count everywhere. But it just tears the barricade up. And now, oh, here comes. Nope. I thought uh, thought Moshpit was going to come in and help. 
But now, Luchador. I want to call her Luchador. She's like La Tarantula. That's right. And now, got her. Oh, slamming the head off the off the announce table. And you down again? Once, once we're back up again. Put her down, pick her up, put her down, pick her up, raw hide. And now, oh, what a big uh, German suplex there. And they're rolling over. And what's this going to be? Keep, she keeps rolling. And now another suplex. A great move there by La Tarantula. Is that, that's not the spider's kiss, but uh, that's that's her other move. Uh, it's, it's it's spine tingly, whatever it is that uh, my, my spidey sense is tingling, and now punching away. And I'm missing that time. And a sidekick by by, by Misty, Misty, Masato. Masato. Like I say, too many M names. I mentioned that before. Too many fucking M names in this federation. And now rolling, rolling the head back in once again. I know we're coming short of time. It's uh, we're gonna try to try to char charge through this. Uh, do, do we get the note to them down there? Can we speed this up? No, no, no. They, you, you gotta let them play. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all about honor for these people and money. But now oh, punching, punching the fists into the gut. And uh, we got an entanglement here. Now, what is this? What is this move? Oh, my God. <laughs> she tied her up in a web there. And just went slamming on down with a nice suplex. Oh, that's definitely one of those uh, luchador moves. And now a big uh, scissor throw uh, by the legs. I'm Misty. I'm Misty now. We're going to drag her. I thought she was going to drag her into the corner, but no, just pulling her out. Now grabbing. Oh, chin buster there. She was waiting for that one. Trying to get momentum back. And now grabbing. Oh, what's this going to be? Oh, we're going to. Oh, it's going to be. Oh, it's the. Uh, yes, it is. Oh, my God. That's the. Uh, the why I won't, I won't use the term. Uh, it's a move that we've seen before, though, uh, under a different name. But that was a hell of a move, of course, by, by the little one. And now taking, taking her in the corner. And now she just punching away. They got a cheap shot. And back in the corner she goes. That tag is made. Oh, we're gonna, what are we going to have here? We got a double tag, a team move. And grabbing that wrist and just cranking down on that elbow. Trying to make it go the wrong way. And she goes in the back of her head. Down the ropes with a, with a, 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 a piggyback suplex. Now grabbing it and slamming it down. Trying to break those glasses. Those, are, those glasses are like Kevlar, so uh, you're not going to really break them easily. But uh, <laughs> HW, HWA uh, sunglasses available. They're very expensive, though. You probably, normal people. Oh, here comes the Purgatory Express, and she's down, smashing. Oh, my God. Mosh Pit Margo needs to help her, help her out. But right now, the pin, there's one, and Mosh Pit Margo does help out. But here, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let the ranch that took out the ref and now everything. Yeah, what is this now? She's grabbing her head and grinding it. And she goes bouncing back on Lucy now. Lucy stepping on this is chaos, folks. Come on, ref. You're back on your feet. Get some order here. This is insanity. And now, okay, back. <laughs> two women back out, two women back in. That ref back on his feet. <laughs> and, and the universe makes sense again. Now going in the corner, slamming her on the spine against those turnbuckles. And, oh, coming up. Oh, it's a big leg throw right there on, on uh, Lucy Fur. That's stomping away. Uh, sorry, I gotta catch my breath now. <laughs> There's a lot of things going on in that ring, <laughs> for fuck's sake. And now, all oh, got her. There's gonna be a suplex. Gonna grab her by those. Oh, she's not letting her. Her heels are dug in. But no, she does finally get us off in a nice big hanging suplex by mm, Misty Bur 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 Burfer. <laughs> That's interesting. That's a new one. And now picked up again. Uh, punch but blocked by Lucy. And now Lucy laying into Furburger. <laughs> laying into her Furburger. <laughs> Vaginal abuse, that's right. I'm oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Now back in the corner again. Then set up on the turnbuckle. That's going to be another move, another Purgatory Express coming up. And here it comes, boom, down the hell you go. Oh, my God. And now a pin, a pin attempt. There's one. There's two. There's three. She got a lot of just laid, <laughs> laid into the mosh pit. Oh, my God. That was a crazy ending there. <laughs> La Tarantula wasn't right there. You see her. She's just a brutal wrestler here. Really coming to the that, That's going to send her to the top of the uh, the charts there. If uh, she ever gets a chance to, to battle one of the women. Right now, I think they, they're all in the same stable, uh, practically. But, uh, <laughs> of course, another drop there. And, of course, the, uh, the, the Purgatory Express, plonk, down she goes. I want to see the end of that. Where's the end of that? Now, if, uh, big forums coming in. That, that, was, that was not exciting. <laughs> all right. You didn't show the last part, you fucks. All right, well, there's the win there. Uh, Lucy Fur. I, I don't think I picked them. I didn't think they had this kind of chemistry, but uh, I was wrong. I'm eating Crow over here. No, not that Crow. We haven't seen Crow. What happened to Crow? Is Crow gone? Yeah, Crow is gone. Crow, uh, he actually retired from the HWA. He's uh, going back to, to, to learning to do, like, basket weaving and stuff like that. <laughs> he was out of his element. He, re he really was. It was, a, it was a fish out of water situation for him. Very uncomfortable. So we wish him well. But uh, coming up here, I know I'm taking a lot of time. Right now we've got the TV title television uh, tag match. Coming, not tag match. Too many T's. That's Booger Dude and Redneck Rufus. We'll be back. This is the Anal Network reminding you to always wear a condom and come back for more HWA action.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Brown Stain Forum. I, we thank you for sticking with us here. I know this is, this is turning out to be a long one, and uh, we're trying to trudge, trudge through as best we can. But uh, right now, we got the television title match. Not tag, not t tornado, not the no other T's. Just TV title match. That's it. Okay. Now coming down, bathed in green light. Uh, he's had a, he's had championship uh, matches before. Uh, hasn't been done so well, but it is Booger Dude. And he's uh, pick one for you and fling a booger at you and you. And it's just snot for everybody here in the HWA. Uh, we saw him in a steel cage match where he performed the snot rocket on Hiram Lipschitz and pins for the victory. Of course, this was after he, he pulled something out of his tights and rammed, uh, rammed it right into uh, uh, Hiram's face. But uh, regardless, this is still a pretty good move. Have a look at it. Another snot rocket coming for you. Look out. He goes up. Somebody get him a Kleenex. He just got nailed. And now, oh, sending a shockwave up. And now a pin. Here we go. There's one. There's two. There, there's three. There's three. Yes, it was. Booger Dude has won a match against Hiram Lipschitz. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Booger Dude. He's got boogies for you and you and you and everybody. Everybody goes home with a little bit of uh, a little bit of mucus on them. <laughs> so I say muc mucus. <laughs> so pinching my nose at the time. A little itch. Uh, now coming down, here comes with that hillbilly shit kicker music it is. He's a smelly one. He's a smelly. That's right. <laughs> it's Redneck Rufus. A company, of course, by Mr. Fugu. And as uh, a headbang, headbanging redneck that he is. Uh, we saw him, of course, winning that television title match uh, in show 70. He performed the Moonshiner on Bandit. Uh, like I say, <laughs> some people like Bandit better, some people like uh, him better. But uh, regardless, I think they both stink. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, we, what did we do? Yeah, uh, well, we got the Moonshiner. That's right. He pinned for the title, and uh, that was about it. So let's have a look at it. But uh, right now getting packed on the corner. Oh, it comes. It's falling double duty. Here comes the Moonshiner. Ah, ah, crashing him down he goes. Oh, quick pin there. There's one. There's two. That's three. There's three. Red Lake Roof is dead of end. It's quick and fast and in a hurry. That's him, ladies and gentlemen. That's the smelly redneck Rufus. God damn it. <laughs> it smells, it smells like a horse just farted in my face. I'm serious. That's how bad it is. Jesus God. There's the belt. There's the television title belt. That used to be the ass belt. We're so, so glad that we uh, changed that faceplate on it. <laughs> <laughs> Got tired of announcing the ass belt, but uh, right there, you see the booger dude getting ready, focused, very focused right there. The eyes, the, the eyes piercing right through the bag. And, uh, he didn't cut those holes in. That, that was a, that was actually his vision that pierced. The, no, 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 just kidding. <laughs> right now, it's, uh, Redneck Rubens doesn't even care about a bag. Right now, he takes him in for a spin. Round and round he goes. Oh, uh, he's getting dizzy. He's getting dizzy, folks. Is there snots flying out? Of here. <laughs> Gotta watch that. It's, it, it, the top of his bag is now filled with snot because of the centripetal force. Is it centripetal or cent centrifugal? Do I care? <laughs> I don't. Who cares if it's uh, what's the what was the rock thing? I uh, decided. Uh, yeah, you know what? I, bl I blew it. I had a chance to do a, a cool rock thing, and I I, I, I fucked it up. All right. So anyway, uh, tangling it up now and uh, getting shoving and shoving the booger dude away. Getting his arm. <laughs> his arm is caught in the rope. This is a big clothesline by Redneck, tearing it up. And now. And dragging him out, dragging him out, almost said Bufu, <laughs> dragging the Booker dude out with a big, uh, big double, double axe handle to the bag. <laughs> look at, look at, the, he's just dusting off his shirt like, like he, it's even worth dusting off. And now getting shot, going to the uh, turnbuckle here, and big clothesline coming in by uh, Booker dude. Redneck down, Redneck, Booker dude getting booed here. I don't know what the deal with that is. Now big leg throw by uh, by Redneck. Redneck now punching, punching the bag. It's a punching bag. And now uh, with a kick made, what's this going to be? A little, uh, little pump handle, slow oh, pump handle roll out. And a big fist to follow up. <laughs> Just as he's starting to get his bearings, that fist comes in. Now, Pan, there's one. Only going to get a one count out of that. And uh, now, oh, he's got a big clothesline by, by Booker Dude. <laughs> what? He must have really nailed him hard because he was flailing around like crazy. That would be painful. Now, Booker Dude. Booker Dude grabbing, grabbing Redneck, sending him off the ropes. And it's going to be. What is that? Oh, my God. I don't know what that. I thought the Redneck got the better of that. But no, it was, Mr. It was uh, Booger Dude just kind of uh, spinning him, slamming him down. Now kick by by the Redneck Rufus. And now getting punched to the back. Redneck now. Redneck. Oh, Redneck punched straight to, straight to the bag. Straight to the sack. <laughs> Different sack, folks. Now going in the corner. And having a clothesline from behind. Smashing his head. Off the turnbuckle and off the back of the. Kind of sandwiching, really. A sandwich? Yeah, a sandwich would be good. Can we get, we get the uh, little pastrami going? A little, so, some of the good, but that spicy mustard. They, they could, not the Chinese mustard. I don't want to burn my fucking face off. And it spontaneously combust. Oh, right there. We see uh, driving, the, driving the knee to the, uh, to the, to the bag. <laughs> to the sack again. And now an arm sweep there taking Redneck off his feet. <clears throat> going back, pick a winner. <laughs> and now in a leg lock here. Is this trying to get a submission out of, out of Redneck? But no, Redneck kicks him in the sack again. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm just working that joke every time Booker dude. It doesn't matter. I'll just do it. I'll do it all night, goddammit. Now his bag goes off the turnbuckle. <laughs> and now I'm coming back here. What's this gonna be? That nasty cousin kiss. He got him flying as he, he compresses the bag now. He does bag compressions. <laughs> that sounds more like CPR, actually. <laughs> now that I think of it. And now going in the corner, and he's stomping. Here comes the moon salt or the uh, the, the moon shiner. He got him again. He's down again. He splattered him. And now going for a quick pin here. Let's see. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's three. Red neck Rufus making fast work at Booker Dude. Good God. Well, thank you, thankfully for that, because we're, we, are, we are seriously out of time here. Right now, you see, uh, we'll see some quick replays here. Big uh, follow-up fist. I, I like that move. Uh, punching the redneck and now going for the pin. Uh, only got a one count out of it. I was able to kick out of that. And then, then there's the nasty cousin kiss. Watch that bag collapse. It's like blowing a bag up and you smack it with your hand. <laughs> That's about what he did. And, of course, this rolling with the moon. So a very athletic move. I will say that for redneck, that, 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 that moon shiner. And now pin. And it was quick. And it was done. It was one. It was two. And of course, number three. And hey, wait, we finally showed a pin. God damn. Is that so hard? You had to do that. Anyway, uh, big celebration for Redneck Rufus. And uh, we're gonna we're just gonna have to jump right into it because we are out of time. It's, oh, no, we're going backstage now. What the hell's going on? We got uh, uh, we'll see. Oh, I, I don't know who they are. I've never seen them before in my life. Some guy with a big kiss on his ass. And now, oh, just coming down, coming down with the cart. And got, he's, well, one guy's tan, the other guy's okay. Thanks. So we're gonna, we're just gonna cut back away. Okay, Redneck celebrating. Let's talk about what's coming up next week. I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, no, we're back, we're back in the locker room now uh, with the tan guy and the uh, pale guy. I guess I'll have to call him that because I got no names right there. Just running the, the head right off the, the, the locker room. And now, who, is it, or do we have any security around here? I know they're dressed like they should be in the HWA, but I've never seen them before. Right, once again, Redneck celebrating. Okay, can we do the recap? Now? Oh, we're back here again. Okay, now going up the locker room. Uh, this, uh, this this pale guy. Now, pale guy. Well, we're a big kick to the face right there. And now, they kick out like crazy. Let's crack his head open on that locker. Dear God, oh my. Oh, now we're back here. We're back and we're done. All right. Fuck it, folks. I don't know what's going on. It's chaotic here. Let's do it. Uh, what's what's going on next week? Uh, we got a TLC. It's going to be a, a nice four-way here. Maxi pad. Uh, Big Dick is in you. Gimp and a loco. Uh, women's national title, of course, coming up. Masato Man is going to be taking on Kelly Boom. Uh, we got tag team match between the medics, and it's going to be freezing crackers. And of course, uh, the big inner horseman title match: Concrete versus Boo for the Clown. We are out of time. I'm sorry to have to rush it like this, but uh, we're gone. Uh, the, the, the Anal Network thanks you. Uh, this, uh, always wear a condom, and uh, that's all I got to say about it. Thank you, and good night.